Chapter 26, Maniac McGee. It was impossible to listen to such stories empty-handed. As soon as Grayson started one, Maniac would reach into one of his equipment bags and pull out a ball or a bat or a catcher's mitt. Sniffing the scruffled horsehide aroma of the ball, rippling the fingertips over the red stitching, it's hard to say how these things can make the listening better, but they do. And for Maniac, they did. And of course, as happens with baseball, one thing led to another, and pretty soon, two of them were tossing a ball back and forth. And then they were outside, where the throws could be longer, where you could play pepper in the outfield grass at the Legion Field, the old man pitching, the, the kid trapping grounders, where you could shag fungos, the old man popping high flyers, and the kid chasing them down. And now the stories were mixed with instruction, the grisly, rickety coot showing the, the kid how to spray the liners to the opposite field, how to get a jump on a long fly ball even before the batter hits it, how to throw the curveball. Stiff, crooked fingers that grabbed clumsily of the crimpet wrappers curled naturally around the shape of the baseball. With a ball in his hand, the handy park man became a professor. As to the art of pitching, of course, the old man could show and tell, but he could no longer do, except for one pitch. The only other one left in his repertoire from the old days, he called it the stop ball, and it nearly drove Maniac Goofy. The old man claimed he discovered the stop ball one day in the Texas League, and then he was gone long that he was long gone from baseball when he perfected it. Unlike most pitchers, the stop ball involved no element of surprise. On the contrary, the old man would also would always announce it. Okay, he'd call in from from the mound. Here she comes. Now keep your eye on her, because she's gonna float on up there, and just before the time she's gonna get over the plate, she's gonna stop. Now somebody else ever hit it so you don't go getting upset if you don't either. It's no shame to whiff on the stop ball, and then he'd throw it. Well, of course, Maniac knew that most of all of this was Blarney, and just to make sure, he watched the ball, caref watched the ball, ball extra carefully. They sure do seem to be anything unusual about it, not at first anyway, but as the ball came closer, it did somehow seem to get more and more peculiar, and by the time it reached the plate, it just as well it just well as stopped, because Maniac never knew if he was swinging at the old man's pitch or at a speech. Whatever, in weeks of trying, he never hit it out of the infield. It was October. The trees, the trees rim in the outfield, were flaunting their colors. The kid and the geezer baseballed their lunch times away and the after dinner times and weekends. And every night, as the old man left for his room at the Y, he would grouse. You ought to go to school. And one night the kid said back, I do. And that's how the old man found out what the kid was doing with his mornings. He had noticed the books before, rows and piles of them, they kept growing. But they're betting, they're being books, he didn't think much of it. Now the kid tells him, you know the money you give me? Each morning he give, gave the kid 50 cents or a dollar to get himself some crimpets. Well, I take it up to the library. Right inside the door, they have these books they're selling, cases of them, old books they don't want anymore. They cost five or 10 cents a piece, he pointed out to the piles. I buy them. He showed them to the old man, ancient, broken math books, flaking travel books, warped spellers, mangled mysteries, biographies, music books, astronomy books, cookbooks. What's the matter, said the old man. Can't you make up your mind what kind you want? The kid laughed. I want them all. He threw his hands out. I'm learning everything. He opened one of the books. Look, geometry, triangles. Okay, isosceles triangles. These two legs, they look equal to you? The old man squinted. He nodded. Okay, but can you prove it? The old man studied the triangle for a minute. If I had a ruler, maybe. No ruler, the old man sighed. Guess I give up. So the kid proved it, absolutely dead center, proved it. Two days later, when while playing Pepper in the Legion infield, the old man said to the kid, so why don't you just go ahead and teach me how to read? 